In this video, we are going to install a multimedia video box with streaming capabilities provided by MMB for review. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Greg and in this channel, I create product reviews, mods, install guides of cool car accessories and gadgets. It's an adapter that easily converts your wired CarPlay or wired Android Auto to wireless connections. Includes streaming features from apps such as Netflix and YouTube. Up on top of the device, you have your USB Type-C connection which connects to your vehicle. On the bottom, you have your SD memory card slot which supports up to 256 gigs. And you have your built-in SIM card, which supports 4G band. Measures at 3 inches by 3 inches and 0.55 inches thick. Includes USB Type-A to Type-C cable and a USB Type-C to Type-C cable. And your user manual. If you're interested in this product, I'm going to leave the product link in the description below. Here, we simply plug our USB cable. Then, we simply plug the cable to our AI box. It'll automatically detect. Then, we want to go ahead and hit Enable. There we go. Apple CarPlay. We're going to go ahead and select that. Let it calibrate. Now, you're automatically connected. This here is your Android home screen. You have your maps here. You have your menu button where you can select all your apps. You have six slots here in which you can create your own shortcuts. You have some info here, the time, the date, your connectivity, Wi-Fi, 4G or Bluetooth. You have your selection between CarPlay and Android Auto and you have access to your music. Swipe to your right will give you some information. So the first thing I want to do is connect to Wi-Fi. We're going to go ahead and go to your apps, go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, and we're going to select our internet. Searching for networks right now. Going to go ahead and connect to our network. Perfect, now I'm connected. I'm going to go ahead and back out. Next thing I want to do is we're going to go ahead and connect to Android Auto. Okay, we're going to go ahead and select Android Auto. And on your on your phone, you're going to look for MMB. Your Bluetooth name is MMB. We're going to go ahead and pair that. Hit pair. We're going to allow Now you're automatically connected. Here's your Android Auto apps. Let's do a call. Works perfectly. Now we're going to go ahead and connect to Apple CarPlay. We're going to go ahead and select CarPlay. Then we're going to go to our Bluetooth. Wait for the device to pop up. There it is. We're going to go ahead and pair the device. We're going to hit pair. We're going to allow and we let it do its thing. And 
and you're set. Hey Siri, what's the weather today? Looks like rain today. Daytime temperatures will hover around 54 degrees, with overnight lows around 42. And your voice command works perfectly. Now I want to go ahead and connect to YouTube. First, we're going to make sure that we're connected to internet. I'm going to go ahead and turn on our Wi-Fi. Okay, now I'm connected. Go ahead and go back out. We're going to add YouTube as a shortcut. Now we're going to go ahead and connect to YouTube. Let's go ahead and search for a channel. There was a deranged lady trying to get out of house. Just like that, we're going to go ahead and skip through the commercials. She somehow manages to. In this video, we are going to install this remote starter on a Toyota. The bottom lower panel. Now let's go ahead and try connecting to Netflix. We're going to add a shortcut, select Netflix, and then we're going to go ahead and select the app. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Once I'm done signing in, we're going to go ahead and select an account. And let's go ahead and play a movie. Okay, it's pretty responsive. <laughs> Equipped with eight gigabytes of RAM and 100 gigabytes of ROM running Android 13. If you have not done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll bring you more content just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.